Welcome to Body Conscious Pilates. My name is Allison, and today we're going to be going over some post-operative recovery approaches to moving. And right now, I'm going to focus on getting in and out of bed, getting in and out of your pajamas, socks, and slippers. I myself just had pelvic laparoscopic surgery yesterday, also hysteroscopic. So I am in the middle of recovery myself, and I thought that this would be an ideal time to both connect with those of you who have also had surgery um, and also, you know, demonstrate genuine limits and abilities after surgery. So thank you for joining me. Let's go over some things that maybe you're watching this before your surgery, maybe you're watching it after, wondering why is it so difficult now for me to do simple things? What I'm gonna show you are ways for you to do those simple things that give you both independence and safety. So one of the first things we're gonna go over is how to get in and out of your comfy clothes. Now those clothes are comfy around our waistbands where we have had surgery recently, um, but they also, being loose, provide opportunity for our toes, our knees, to get stuck in them on the way down or out. That is, can be a trip hazard. So one of the things I'm gonna teach you is that a stable object is your friend for balance right now, for balance and for stability. And so instead of trying to do anything free in the room with nothing around you, you want to hug up next to something. If you're in your bathroom, that might be your vanity. If you're in your bedroom, your bed. If you're down in your living room, a chair. A wall even can help you. The minute you touch that wall, you give yourself another point of contact for reinforcement for balance. So I'm going to show you how I get in and out of my pajamas. You can also use this for getting in and out of your boxers or in and out of your underwear. I do have some stretchy pants on underneath that took me a little bit to get into um, so that I can demonstrate this disrobing. So let's pretend that I need to get out of my pajamas and into my daily clothes if I wanna change clothes. Or, <clears throat> and then that'll allow me to show you how to get into them and your pajamas or your sweatpants are what you're gonna feel like being in anyway. So the first thing I do is hug up against my solid object, my bed here. I've now leaned the outside of my thigh into the bed. I'm gonna tip hinge at the hips just a little because this abdomen does not feel like being crunched up. So I'm gonna hinge at my hips. Now that I'm touching the bed with the outside of my thigh, I can use both hands to come down now, my hand closest to the bed is now in contact with the bed, or if you're in your bathroom, in contact with your sink or vanity. I can use my faraway hand to continue to push my stretchy pants down until I can grab my ankle and lift my foot out and down. Now, here's the real trick. Take this faraway arm and go across your body with it because you're going to have to switch your weight. I like to put my far arm inside of the waistband. Now I'm going to leave my hand closest to the bed or closest to my stable object on that object. And I'm going to let my pajama pants fall as I lift my leg closest to the bed. So now let's practice putting our comfy pants back on. Similar process, using that across the body arm when you get to the second leg, okay? So I'm gonna open up my nice comfy stretchy pants, but all of this loose fabric can tangle up on your joints or toes. So again, I'm gonna lean into my supporting object, open up my waistband, drop it down low with my arms, hinge at the hips, now lift my far away leg into the pants. Keep leaning on your solid object. Shimmy your sweatpants up. Now stand on that leg. Now take your arm 
across your waistband. So you're gonna push across the body. Take your hand closest to your supporting object, put it on that object, stretch the waistband with your across the body hand, lift your foot closest to the bed, and with maintaining that contact, push your foot through your pajama pants. You might have to draw the fabric up with your hand that's inside the waistband. Set your foot down. Now you have both feet on the ground. You can continue with pulling up your waistband. That might sound like a lot of procedure when I describe it in words, but really once you go through the process of leaning against your supporting object and taking that hand across the body to leave the hand closest to your object ready to support you, it comes a little more naturally. I want to show you why I think that across the body hand is important. So here I go taking off, again supporting myself with the hand closest to the object. If I try to, and so here I'm going to get into one side of my pants leaning against my solid object. If I try to take a body, my hand across the body to the object and lift my leg in using the arm closest to that leg I'm trying to get in, my range of motion is restricted. And that's not helpful, especially when you don't feel like bending in the trunk. So take your hand across the body into the waistband, put your, your supporting hand that's closest to the object down. And that will help you get a range of motion that'll get your foot successfully into that stretchy pant without losing contact with your supporting object. So that is my tip for getting into your underwear or boxers and getting into your pajama pants or sweatpants, which will be your friends for the next few days. So that concludes this segment. In a minute, I'm going to go over how to get into socks, how to reach for slippers, and then how to lie down and get out of bed. So thank you for joining me for this segment of how to get in and out of your comfy clothes.